a dog waiting for its master outside the hospital door, a pigeon visiting a lonely patient, or a cat warning of patient's deaths. Get comfortable. When animals have flair and heart, you get this. Here are six animals who supported their owners when they were sick. In Pakistan, this old man is used to going to the park to feed the birds there. One day, the grandfather had a violent illness that forced him to be hospitalized. He spent three days there and during the whole stay, the old man did not receive any visit from any member of his family. None of his relatives came, which logically intrigued the medical team that was taking care of him. Throughout his hospitalization, the patient received a strange visitor. It was a pigeon that entered through the window, landed on his bed, and stayed there for a long time. The man must have been sad not to have received any visitors, but he was comforted by this little being who showed him a lot of empathy and love. There was no indication that this pigeon was one of the birds that the man used to feed at the park. But one thing is for sure, the bird seemed to show its appreciation by being present at his bedside. When he left the hospital, the old man was much better, he had recovered and regained his strength. He may have gone into the hospital alone, but he came out of the hospital with a warm heart, with this little being who showed him a lot of gratitude and love when no one else was there for him. Hachiko is an Akita dog, he was born in the Akita region in 1923 and was adopted by his master, Professor Haida Saburo Ueno. They moved to Tokyo in 1924 and lived in Shibuya, a famous district of the Japanese capital. Hachiko used to accompany her master every morning to Shibuya station, and waited all day for his return, to go home. That's how their routine was established and lasted for one year and four months. During all this period, a powerful and indestructible bond developed between Hachiko and his master. On May 25, 1925, after having waited all day for his master to come back from work, Hachiko went as usual to the station, at the precise time when the train arrived. He waited for several hours, then seeing that his master didn't come, he ended up going back home alone. Days pass, the dog understands that Wayno won't come back home anymore and decides to wait for him on the platform of the station. What he didn't know was that the professor was not going to come back anymore, since he had died the day, he didn't come back. Indeed, Hidesaburo Wayno died, of a cerebral hemorrhage, while participating in a conference at the University of Tokyo. Hachiko always hoped to find his master and came back to the station every day at the same time. So much so, that he became a regular at the station and that some station users started to take care of him, bringing him food and water. In 1932, the faithful dog became famous nationwide after an article about his moving story was written by a former student of Wayno. It had been seven years that he was still waiting for his dead master on the platform of the station, and did not fail in his duty for a single day. Over time, Hachiko was given the nickname, Chukin, which means, faithful dog, in Japanese, and is frequently held up as an example of loyalty by teachers in Japan. In 1934, Hachiko was given a bronze statue of herself, erected near Shibuya Station. A year later, probably due to a deep sadness, Hachiko died on the platform of the station. Her remains were stuffed and kept in the National Museum of Nature and Science in Tokyo. In all, the faithful dog will have spent almost nine years waiting for the return of his master, until his last breath. In 1936, a moving tribute was paid to Hachiko, during the ceremony of the first anniversary of his death. Hachiko died but he left behind him the undeniable proof that the loyalty of dogs to their masters is unparalleled. His story inspired the director of the movie, Hachiko Monogatari, in 1987 and another Hollywood adaptation in 2009 in the movie, Hachi. Bonchik a small dog, lived with his master Simal Senturk in the city of Trabzon in Turkey. He took him in nine years ago when he was still very small. Since then, the friendship between him and his master has grown to the point that today, Bonchik can no longer separate from Simal. One day, Simal Senturk had a brain problem that forced him to be hospitalized. Refusing to be separated from his master, Bonchik followed the ambulance that was transporting him to the hospital, north of the city. The animal stood by the hospital door for days, waiting for his master to come out. Senturk's daughter, Einar Ageli, tried several times to take the dog home, but the faithful animal returned to the hospital every day. The faithful companion would show up every morning at 9 o'clock and stay outside the door until nightfall. He would not go in, but as soon as the doors opened, he would stick his head inside to see if his master was there. Senturk, on the other hand, could see Bonchik from the window of his hospital room. 
and as soon as he started to shout his name, the dog would look around and start to whimper. In all, the dog spent six long days in front of the hospital doors worrying about his master, forgetting about hunger, cold, and fatigue. His patience was finally rewarded when Senturk was finally able to leave the hospital in a wheelchair. The meeting between the two friends was very moving. With this wonderful gesture, Bonchik proved to his master that he was his most faithful friend. Oscar is a cat living at Steer House Nursing Home, located in Rhode Island, USA. The cat made his home there when he was just a kitten. Ten years later, he is still there, faithful to his post. Yes, because he has one and a very special one at that. Oscar spends his days wandering the halls of the institution and doesn't like to be cuddled by the staff or offer tenderness to the patients. He is not very sociable, but Oscar has an incredible gift, he can predict the death of patients when their last hour comes. Indeed, when Oscar feels that one of the patients is going to die, he decides to accompany him in his last moments and to offer him his reassuring and warm presence. And for that, the cat has a well-tried ritual. He spends his days at the bedside of the dying person, sometimes leaving his post for a minute or two to get some kibble, and then immediately returns to the patient's side, as if he were his guardian angel, and felt obliged to be with him at the fateful moment. In his five years of practice, the cat at the Rhode Island nursing home has rarely been wrong about patients, sometimes even being more accurate than doctors. Dr. David Dosa, a geriatrician, who took an interest in Oscar's case and revealed the existence of this unique cat to the world, believes that the cat has an overdeveloped sense of smell and is attracted by some kind of pheromone or smell of death. This feline, like certain dogs whose nose can detect cancer, could also be capable of smelling ketones, substances released by the dying cells of a patient. This macabre gift has earned Oscar a detestable reputation in the eyes of some since he is considered a bird of ill omen. Others, however, see Oscar as a true guardian angel, affectionate and tender, who accompanies people to their final resting place in the gentlest of ways. Today, Oscar still lives in the Rhode Island nursing home, and even if at first, he was not very appreciated for his cold and icy character, the cat is now an integral part of the members of the residence. He is a joy to the doctors, but also to the sick people who need affection and warmth during their last moments on earth. Mao Mao is a golden retriever dog who lives in Henan province, in the center of China, with his owner. The bond that unites Xiao, the owner, with his canine is inseparable and very powerful. Xiao suffers from high blood pressure and other cardiovascular diseases that force him to sleep at night with a breathing mask. This detail is not lost on Mao Mao who, every night, watches over his master while he is in the arms of Morpheus. Every night, the golden retriever snuggles up to his master, and to make sure that his master is breathing well, the hairball puts his little head on Xiao's chest. He stays as much as possible at his master's bedside, afraid that something bad will happen to him. And when the man wakes up, the canine gets up in his turn and follows him in step. Mao Mao takes his role so seriously that it becomes embarrassing for Xiao, who tries several times to push his four-legged friend away. But it's not the fault of this little ball of fur who loves his master and is worried about him every night. With time, Mao Mao will certainly get used to this routine and will worry less about his master. He could at least prove to Xiao that he could count on him if by misfortune he had a crisis during the night. Lyle Ain Mara Sayag is a woman living in the province of Alberta, Canada. She adopted a two-year-old cat, which she named Panda, because of its black and white coat. The animal is very affectionate and shows a lot of love for its owner. When Lyle Aymar became pregnant, she noticed that her cat's behavior had changed. When the animal, with his sharp sensitivity, felt that a little being was living in the belly of his mistress, he became even more tender and affectionate with her. The young woman was never separated from her cat. The latter followed her everywhere in the house as if she felt obliged to watch over her, to protect her, and to make sure that no harm came to her. When she tried to rest or lie down on her bed, Panda would climb next to her and snuggle up to her round belly, as if she wanted to protect the little being growing in her belly. The cat often put his little furry head on her belly and purred as if to communicate with the fetus. This little purr helped to soothe and reassure the baby in the belly, as well as his mother since it has been scientifically proven that the sound of cats can reduce blood pressure and relieve tension. The mother-to-be was thus very pampered by her pet. Even if at times it was difficult for her to bear the cat's constant presence, Lyle eventually got used to it. In any case, she couldn't have hoped for a better friend for her future baby. It must be said that since little Sean showed up, the young mother is happy to see that the feline is madly in love with her baby and that a true friendship has been established between them. As a real chicken, cat, Panda continues to act in the same way with the child. 
She protects him, climbs on the bed where he sleeps peacefully, sniffs him, snuggles with him, puts her head on his back to make sure he is breathing well and does not move away from the young mother either. As soon as the baby starts to cry, Panda hastens to warn her mistress and goes to reassure the little one, comforts him as much as she can, while waiting for Lyle to come to take him in her arms. Lyle Ainmar may have been annoyed for a while by the cat that stuck to her all day long, but she is now overjoyed when she sees them so close together as if they were best friends. What do you think of these six stories? Which one touched you the most? Did these stories make you want to adopt a pet? Tell us your feelings in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive all the notifications and not miss anything of our next content.